Hello and welcome to 5 minutes about ADHD and autism. Today I will um, dedicate uh, the next 5 minutes to teachers and uh, people who take care of kids with special needs and actually without special needs too. I, I'm a teacher myself and uh, I'm a mother too to kids with special needs. Uh, they have uh, ADHD and autism. In the school I, I, have, I can have a class with 28 or 25 kids and um, maybe five or ten of them is having special needs in some way. The one might be crying all the time because uh, of a divorce uh, from his parents and another one uh, may have lots of conflicts because he has ADHD and um, another one needs to have the, the social um, rules explained again and again because he has autism. And uh, one boy is heavily overweighted and and another girl cannot read at all. Um, and that's common actually. It's in almost every every classroom, kids with special needs and lots of them. Oh. And they need the teacher's care. And the teachers I have met really want to do it. They really want to reach out to each and every kid every hour they are uh, teaching in the class. But it's not possible. You had to, you, you haven't got the time to find the materials to the very clever boy and to the to the girl who can't read. At the same time, as you um, solve the conflicts with the the ADHD boy and explain the next uh, four hours for the girl with autism, there there are not time enough. You you haven't got arms enough and you haven't got eyes enough. It's it's just not possible. And the losers is almost always the kids with special needs. Both those in top who, who, uh, who, who need more, uh, more education because they are so clever, they are uh, far uh, ahead in the book and, and they need special materials but they have no time. And those who so much need a hand on the shoulder, eye contact, a, a nice little word, I see you, I hear you, I'll help you. There are no time. Often there are no time. Or you, maybe you as a teacher, you decide that you can reach him and her and him and leave the rest. Um, but you have to make this choice every time you are in a classroom. Who can you reach? Who can't you? This time, maybe next hour or next, next hour or next day or next week. But it, it does something to us as a teacher. It does something to me that that I fail kids every day. Even though how much I tried to be prepared, even though how much I, I tried to see all of them, to, to, to you know, oops, <laughs> say hello to all of them, tell them they are important. It is not possible, at least not for me. Sometimes, sometimes I have this, it, 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 it can happen. That I have a good feeling when I leave the classroom. Yes, I did it. But it will probably be that day when five of them are sick or somehow on vacation in the school time. Because it's almost never happening in a normal classroom with 20, 5, 6, 7, 8 kids. And I see teachers who, who are so tired. They they are losing their energy. They are losing the teacher spirit because the, the burden is so tough. It is so heavy. And even uh, how much they try, they will, they will let kids down. And they are teachers because they won't let kids down. I, I want to share this with you who have kids with ADHD and autism. Because we, as a mother, I, I'm having special needs for my kid please see this teacher see this do this for my kid but but the teacher can't always reach it they can't always know everything about autism and adhd and overweight and devotion and all that they can't but i i, I hope with these five minutes that i can make every mom and dad smile a little bit extra to their teacher to their kids teachers and um and that I can make all teachers give themselves a little hug.
or a little tap on the shoulder because you are doing great. Um, it's hard work, but you are doing great. I hope, I hope you can use these five minutes up there.